Okay, so logging into your Google Apps for Education account or GAIF account, um, your uh, your email is going to be the first initial the the ini first letter of your first name, your last name, your ID number at muhsdstudents.org. Uh, if you're a sophomore, this is a change from last year. It used to just be muhsd.org, now it's MUHSD students. So you're going to enter in your first initial, the first letter of your fir first name, your last name, your ID number, which should be six digits, the at symbol, which is above the two, M U H S D S T U D E N T S M U H S D students dot O R G. Your password uh, is set to your birth date. Um, so if you've never logged in before, it should be two digits for the month, two digits for the day four digits for the year. So if your birth month is December, you would put in a 12. If the day is the 21st, you put in 2-1. Uh, if you were born in 1998, you put in 1998. You have to put the entire year. Um, if your birth month is April, you put 04. If you were born on the 3rd, you put 03. And if you were born in the year 2000, you put 2000. Once that's done, you're going to click Sign In. The first time you use the device, it'll ask you to choose a picture. Um, and there, you can use the built-in camera. Um, and if you look at the top of the, the Chromebook, there is a little camera, webcam built in there. Um, you can do that to take a picture of yourself if you really want. Um, if you're doing this in class, then you want to make sure you check with your teacher before you start messing around with that stuff. Um, they do give you some stock photos you can choose. Um, so if you're a dog person like I am, you're going to choose a puppy. And then you're going to click OK. Okay, now it offers some video tutorials on how to use the Chromebook. I do recommend going through those um, if you have a chance, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. But it will, get, it will give you some basics about your computer, about how it works, um, how files are saved, things like that. And once you're done with that, you can close this window. And let me zoom out here a little bit. So I'm going to close this window. And then to get to my account, I need to launch the Chrome web browser. Um, you'll notice there is no start button. Um, you're, this is basically um, a web browser on a computer. Um, you don't install any software. Everything runs off the web. Um, and when I, when I click on the, the Chrome symbol there, it brings up a blank window. Um, I can type in a web address.